Hello and welcome to the next video of Python Bytes Problem Solving. In this video, we will solve a problem to find the number of types required to get the Capricorn's constant. In today's problem, we are going to write a function that returns how many steps did it take to get the Capricorn's constant. What is Capricorn's constant? The number 6174 is known as Capricorn's constant after the mathematician who discovered an associated property. For all four digits with at least two distinct digits, repeatedly applying a simple procedure eventually results in this value. The procedure is as follows. For a given input, create two numbers that consist of digits in x in ascending and descending order. Subtract a smaller number from the larger number. This will eventually result into Capricorn's constant that is 6174. So let us understand what, how are we going to create this function. So to create this function, there are two steps. The first step is finding two numbers, finding two numbers. So these two numbers are, the first one is ascending order or that is smallest number and second one is descending order and that is largest. So if we are given a number n, we have to create steps or we have to write a code such that we have to uh, find the smallest and the largest number and the simplest way if you are given a number 8 7 2 3 the simplest way to do this is write this number in ascending order that is from in the increasing order so the smallest number will be 2 3 7 8 and the largest number will be 8 7 3 2 and when that is what that is our first step how are we going to do it? When we are given a number n, there are series of operations that we are going to do on n. So we are going, because numbers cannot be like, you cannot take the digits and uh, rearrange them. So to do that, we are going to convert the integer into a string form. And we all know from the string lecture that string is a form of a list. And we can sort the list. And once we sort, we get the list in ascending order and then we can join and then we get the smallest number similarly we can do reverse sort so we can do reverse sort that will give us descending order and when we join we get largest number this was our first step of finding the smallest and the largest number. The second step is finding the difference. So once we start, once we have the largest and smallest number, the easiest step is this second one is to find the difference. So largest minus smallest and we'll, we'll see this is equal to difference and we, this difference has to be equal to Capricorn's constant that is 6174. So as soon as we have the difference equal to that number, we have achieved our result. So we have to see how many times we have to do this step one. So to do this thing, there is a simple loop that we can run and that is while because we have one condition and that condition is difference is not equal to 6174. So till this point, we keep running the loop. So step one, step two. So, and we keep doing this. Now let us go to the coding part and see how we code this. The most critical part of the coding is creating the smallest number and the largest number. Let us jump to the code. Let us now start coding a function that will give us number of steps it took us to reach the Capricor constant, which has an input n. The function has input n and n is an four digit number with at least two distinct digits. So now we will start our function. We have already declared the function steps to reach Capricor constant and the input is n. We have to return steps. Initially we have declared steps as zero and Capricor's constant is 6174. Now what we want over here is another variable that is difference. We are going to use that to compare. So initially the difference is going to be equal to n. So the input that we are going to give is going to be equal to difference. I'll tell you in the next line of code why we have declared difference as n now because if difference is not equal to so to enter the while loop the difference is not supposed to be equal to Capricor's constant. 
if in any condition we give n as 6174 we do not need to do any operations we have already we already have the operators constant so number of types is zero so that's why we have declared difference as equal to n so now we are going to uh, start building the first step that is developing the smallest and the largest number from the number from from n so for that we are going to create a string from the integer so we are going to use string and then we are going to the next step is the smallest number so smallest n so we'll start from inside because it's a one line operation but it has multiple functions that we are going to use for string and integers so we'll use sorted n string and this will give us the string sorted in the uh, ascending order so we have and now it is also converted into a list so once we have converted into a list now we have to join this thing so we will use join and the separator is null so it's just it has nothing the inverted there are two inverted commas with nothing inside so now we have created we have joined it and now this is also again in the string format and we are going to convert this into integer because we have to do an operation of subtraction like we have to find a difference so we need to convert this we have to have a integer format similarly we will do for largest number but for largest number there is one simple difference is we have to have the number sorted in the descending order so for that we will use sorted string n and there is one thing that i have to change over here this is not going to be n over here we are going to make it difference because we are going to have the difference repeated multiple times because once we do the first operation the difference is going to change so i am going to make it n string comma reverse true because when we do reverse true it will sort it in the descending order and then we do the similar same operation that we did for the smallest number that is join and we are going to convert this into its integer form so this type is now integer and now the next step is difference and the difference is largest minus smallest and the last step over here is or, or the last line inside the while loop is to increment the step value by one so how do we do that is plus equal to one so we are going to correct this variable name steps so this if this operation is done once the step increases by one time now it will again this is the end of the while loop and it will again go to the difference so just for the sake of our understanding we are going to print some values over here so we are going to use so in window in in print in uh, python 3 we have a function called format where we declare f and the string and in the curly brackets on the curly braces we will declare the variable so largest n minus smallest n is equal to difference so that we have understanding what operations are happening and how we are proceeding in the function and in the end we will return the steps so now let us so this is how we have coded the whole function of finding number of steps required to reach the copernicus constant so now if we run this we have given input as one two three four it took us three steps so to reach the Capricor constants and these were the intermediate step. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4. So the largest number was 4, 3, 2, 1. We are already given the smallest. So it was 1, 2, 3, 4. So once we got the difference at 3087, we went to the next step because that this number, this difference is not equal to Capricor constant that is 6174. So we did the second step again, the largest and the smallest number because it was zero. Therefore, we got a three digit number over here. We got difference at 8352. And we did it for the third time and that is the in the third step we got our Capricus constant that is 6174 and that's why three steps were required we can also go for another number that is 9782 we have to have at least two distinct digits what does that mean that we can have we cannot have 888 or any kind of thing it can be 8881 so at least two distinct digits so if we run this we get it we get the answer in four steps thank you for watching this video I hope you are enjoying the small bites of python problem solving. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye till next time. Keep coding.